uh, obviously a little surprised he can step it up uh, when we need him the most and uh, it's not easy and in the spotlight uh, at MSG and came in and played so well for us. Uh, big props for him for sure. Because he didn't have the easiest path to get into the NHL. No, uh, but I mean obviously countryman so I knew him before. Uh, he was always a good goal in Switzerland and uh, always a big guy and a lot of potential and uh, it's good to see him like uh, working hard and get rewarded for it. With the Devils adjustments back to playing more of the defensive game you all play, clogging up the neutral zone, what impact did you see on that controlling the game and allowing you all to keep the pace? Yeah, it obviously limit, limits them f for some chances and uh, I think it's, it's more playoff hockey uh, and I think we, we understand that. Um, we just got to do it again. Yeah, and it's a best of three series now. You're back at home. What's the mentality of this group heading into game five? Win that game. Uh, that's that's our mentality, and uh, uh, we have some stuff we want to adjust and uh, get better at. Uh, but more or less, just uh, bring a solid te team effort again. Uh, I think fans deserve it. What kind of role does Andre Pilat play on this team, given all of his experience and how you know relatively little the rest of the team has? Just said it. I mean, he's he has a lot of experience, and uh, that's it's a big factor here in this locker room, and uh, he can help us exactly in the playoffs, like uh, first playoff games for a lot of guys so he's uh he's there he's talking to the guys uh he's talking in locker rooms talking in, in periods and uh that's what we need him to do and uh obviously he's a great leader he does it you go between uh you know kieran goal jonas scoring having an assist you and timo are you guys getting some good traction back home right now do you know if there's a devil's man in these playoffs <laughs> i mean uh obviously uh i think there are couple Swiss, Swiss people or Swiss hockey fans that follow the Devils for sure, uh, especially because there's so many Swiss guys on one team and uh, it's just great to see yeah, support from back home and uh, yeah, so. Is it, okay, it's obvious what makes Jack special offensively, what makes him special defensively? What's, why is Jack so good defensively? What, who? Jack. Oh, Jack, yeah, I mean he's he's uh, really well, like he can read the plays, like he's uh, he's his understanding of the game is, is above average level and uh, I mean you can see it in off offensively like he finds holes uh, he's always in a good spot and, and uh, he's really good with uh, stripping pucks like his hands like he reads the play well and then he, he can like make this little stick lifting then strip the pucks and uh, that's what he, he does really well. Sometimes he's got an A on his shirt. What are some of the leadership qualities he has that maybe some people are going really? to I mean people people listen to him. People listen to him and people follow what he does on the ice. Like he's he's driving the bus a lot of nights and uh, uh, I obviously try to support him with that and uh, we we just we have a good connection and good friendship and I think that's it's a good thing uh, to have that on the team. The Devils have been, you know, that never give up team. But how has that mentality really developed over the past few seasons, not just this year, with this coaching staff implementing and your leadership group implementing never giving up? Yeah, I mean, bringing in good characters, I think. That's that's the main reason. I think bringing in uh, uh, people that care and uh, people that are not easy satisfied. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, we've proven that. This year we've proven it out. Even last year, in, in few games, we, we just never never quit. And uh, in hockey, everybody knows you can go really quick. And we're right now. That's that's what we said. We were we're down 0-2. Uh, it didn't look good. And now it's a uh, it's a whole new series. It's like you, we said before. It's best of three series now, and uh, we got the home home ice advantage again. So we got to take care of business uh, tomorrow. One of the biggest things that we saw with the Devils in games three and four, really clogging up that neutral zone. What was that adjustment? And how did you see the Rangers get frustrated? Yeah, um, you know, I thought we stayed on top of them pretty good. And, you know, we had uh, a lot of support all over the ice. You know, guys were coming back, the boards were replacing us too. And, you know, every, if everyone's doing their job there, you know, they're not able to, you know, kind of chip it in and get the zone and you know, we're able to hit, uh, stay on the blue line. Now it's a best of three series. What's the mentality going back home, wanting to get that win after each team swept the away building? Yeah, it's a must win. You know, I'm sure you know each team knows it. Um, it's going to be a huge game, important game, um, fun game to play in. I'm sure everyone's excited for it. And how do you feel the mentality of this group has changed, especially getting a couple wins here? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, that's kind of how playoffs are. You know, there's a lot of you know ups and downs, and you know we want to get too high, don't want to get too low. 
And, um, you know, I think we got a lot of confidence over these last two games, you know, and hopefully carry that into game, game uh, five here. We talked with you before the playoffs about the importance of special teams, a huge turnaround for this group. What have you seen working so well? Uh, yeah, I think everyone's, you know, um, we're more on the same page for sure. You know, they gave us so many looks, like I said before, and, uh, you know, they scored a couple goals, but, you know, they had so many power plays. They showed us so many looks that we were able to, you know, make some adjustments too. And then, you know, obviously some big save by Smitty there too. So it's huge. And obviously it's just a very exciting time. What's what's everyone been looking forward to and getting back at it here at home to kick things off in the best of three? Yeah, I think it's, um, you know, nice to just be home, you know, home crowd and everything. I mean, you know, a little more comfortable environment. And, uh, yeah, it's just going to be a war out there in game five and, you know, looking forward to it. Yeah, on, uh, on the penalty kill, uh, one of the things Dan has been talking about is the puck pressure the last couple of games. Have you noticed, like, an increased emphasis on puck pressure? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, with that many dangerous guys in the ice, you don't want to let them set up and get too comfortable with the puck. Um, you know, that's how they want to play. You know, they don't, um, it makes it a lot harder, you know, obviously, if you keep pressuring them and then the next guy can read off that play and the next guy can read off that play. So, um, yeah, I mean, you never want to let them get set up like that. So, uh, yeah, it's been definitely an emphasis. Did you look at, like, the six on five at the end of that game almost the same way because it seemed very similar. They weren't even able to really get set, set up there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, same way, I mean, you know, you basically this uh, similar structure that we play out there, you know, basically like a bigger version of a PK, right? So, yeah, yeah. How calm is Akira actually during the game when you're back there talking? Because he just looks so calm from the outside. Yeah, he's the same way off the ice that he is on the ice. Yeah, he's pretty calm, you know, pretty stoic, keeps to himself. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you see it on the ice. He's the exact same way. So, yeah, I mean, he's, he's been playing great for us. Was the last couple of games, you said, was it a change of game plan and what you guys were focusing on, or was it just a change in execution from, from the first couple of games? Uh, I could say a little bit of both, right? Like, obviously, game plan-wise, for sure. And then, obviously, um, you know, just little details that, you you know, we had to be better at, you know, make our adjustments and, uh, you know, move forward with that. Thanks, it's now a best of three series and you return home. What's the biggest improvements that you saw in game three and four that you want to carry into game five? I think it was the, the play with the puck was a lot better. Uh, I feel like we didn't take those those chances and, and um, have the little those chances in our game uh, with the puck. And I feel like we, we limited their chances and their top players didn't get as much time and space. and. Um, didn't get him as, as many rush chances, so uh, that was a lot better in game uh, game three and four. Yeah, and that adjustment with the neutral zone, what was it said? How did you guys come about making sure that you guys were more defensive like you were in the regular season? Oh, we, we were just talking about it, and then we, we, we also saw those kind of games when we played our best hockey, how we played, and uh, we took smart decisions in neutral zone. We, we came up with a lot of a lot of speed, and um, we got we got to bob people. We, didn't give them those um, those kind of rush hands. And I'm a team like them. They have a lot of skill. They have a lot of speed, and um, they're just waiting for some some breakdowns like that to happen. And it's on us to to make sure they don't, and um, make sure that we're we're staying in our system. You've been finding a lot of chemistry with Meyer recently in the playoffs. What has led to that, and how does it feel being able to find each other all over the ice and make some good plays? Yeah, I mean, he's a guy that he excels in it, in times like this in the playoff, and I mean, he's an extremely strong guy on the puck. He skates well. He he gets gets in the face of guys, and he, he creates a lot of space for for guys like me and Nico to to get the puck and, and create scoring chance. And um, it's just a just a question of time when when the puck start bouncing in for him too. He's been. He's been playing some really good hockey, so um, it's an exciting guy to play with, and uh, he brings that fire to the group too. With, with how intense things have been in the opening four games, do you expect with the series tied, you know, next game tomorrow is really crucial for both teams to get that decisive third victory. Do you, do you feel like the intensity will be ramped up even more, just knowing how important that is to put the other team on the brink? Yeah, of course. Uh, I think that every every game we play now, it's gonna. Um, it's going to be a battle like it's been the whole series and I mean now it's the best of three series and it, it tights us up a little bit and um, we're expecting a really hard and tough game here at home. Do you feel that you guys have taken a little bit of less risk out of your game in those last two games just to be able to be a little more successful? Yeah, we, we've been playing we're a lot more mature hockey. We've been right. playing, taking better decisions with the puck and um, without the puck we're staying above like I said mm -hmm. there. Um, they don't get those those scoring chances that they, like they got in uh, game one and two, and um, I think our discipline to take penalties and stuff has been a lot better too, and um, to shut down their power play. What has it been about the neutral zone and you guys being able to eliminate you know a lot of their top guys getting those those uh, scoring chances? It's it's a lot of about staying above people, have, finding your coverage, staying above your right. man, and make sure that um, I mean you get in front of guys to make sure that they don't get that. Uh, get that speed through the neutral zone. Uh, we've been a tight, tight, compact group, and uh, it's just the way we gotta 
continue playing to be successful. It's obvious what makes Jack special offensively, but what makes him special defensively? Yeah, I think he, he's been taking a step too in the defensive zone. And, I mean, he's been doing that throughout the whole year, but I think especially now in the playoff, he's been bringing that, um, that feistiness a little bit more. He's been getting into people a little more. And, um, I think as a group, as, an, as a whole, we've been doing that too. And um, I mean, he's an example of a guy when he goes in to, to bump someone or hit someone, the, the group reacts and we get energy from that. And what are some of the leadership qualities he shows? The ultimate captain of the team, obviously one of the team's leaders, not just because he's offensively. What, what are some of the leadership qualities he shows on the ice? Yeah, or well, offense? well, he's a winner. He's, he's just a guy that um, you see how hard he works and you, you see how much he wants to win every game. That um, He's that kind of a guy. He doesn't have to say a lot. He shows it instead. And uh, I mean, it's just a great type of leader. How critical was it that practice day now that you saw everyone on the or the day off now that you saw everyone at practice? Well, it was a good day. I mean, with uh, yesterday a day off, just get the legs moving again, handle a puck, and get ready to play tomorrow. And we saw a lot of the neutral zone being clogged up in the past couple of games, and the Devils forwards have talked about how they're more committed to the defensive game played in the regular season. What have you seen working so well with those forwards being committed? Well, I think you, you mentioned the word committed, uh, just the detail of, you know, the extra effort to get to different spots, to cut people off, to get in the way. So uh, when you get that, uh, you know, that extra 5 or 10 percent, uh, you break up quite a few more plays. How is David? Just a maintenance? Just a maintenance day. He'll be ready for tomorrow. Thank you. We talked a lot about the offensive skills and defensive skills of Jack. What about his leadership skills and counts? He's got an A on his chest for a reason. What do you see from him as a young leader? Uh, you know, first his on ice leadership has been, you know, has been good. I think that uh, uh, he's got a lot of fire in him. He doesn't like how things are going. He's not afraid to say something. Uh, you know, I think overall, it's just he's a good teammate. That I, uh, I think at a young age, guys respect that. You talked about the, the challenges too about, about you know maybe a couple of years ago, a lot of guys get traded in and out. Um, how hard it was for him to kind of steer that room a little bit, but it seems like he's done a good job with it so far, huh? Yeah, you know, I think uh, the guys that have been here for the duration, uh, you know, I think understand where we where we were and where we're at now, uh, and we're really trying to embrace this opportunity. I think, uh, you know, we suffered pain. I think you learn a lot of lessons along the way, and if you can use those le lessons for examples for for the next guy coming along, uh, you can gain some traction where you're going. Regardless of what he's doing on the ice, how nice is it as a coach to have a guy like a lot? He's been through so many of these kind of series and he's kind of a steadying presence. Well, he is the one guy that understands how hard it is. Uh, you know, the desperation that's needed to win, you know, win your battles, win your periods, and end up winning the game and, and eventually to win a cup. And he's been there for a couple and, and came pretty close to a third. He doesn't seem like the most vocal guy, but it's, uh, talking to his teammates, it sounds like he does speak when warranted. Yeah, he, he might not like talking to you guys, but he's pretty good around <laughs> us. Uh, what have you liked about his net front presence the last couple of games that's moved him up to that top power play? Well, he understands that, you know, there's a good chance if, if he can do a good job taking the eyes away, and I think he's good at it, that uh, we're going to get a better opportunity. And uh, so we're just looking at that as probably – our best chance of, of making sure he has to fight to, to uh, see any shot we're going to take. What, what goes into that skill? Sorry, Mike. What goes into that skill of being that net front guy and still staying present and uh, dynamic? It, uh, fearless. I think some guys, you know, you, there's some pretty hard shooters, whether it's uh, one-timers, whether it's uh, the quick release wrist shots. Guys are shooting a puck hard, so there's a good chance you can get you can get hit. I mean, you look at uh, the game last night, uh, somebody took one in the mouth and ended up scoring a goal. So uh, I think it's that type of fearlessness that uh, is important if you want to have a good net front guy. Is it difficult to simulate a road game at home? I would imagine that's what you want out of this group. <clears throat> yeah, you know, I, th I don't think that's easy. I think we. We, we have found our, a little bit of traction. I mean, we're understanding that uh, how to play, uh, the determination. I, you know, I think we had a little bit of the jitters the first game. Uh, we were in, you know, a pretty good game in the second. We let it slip away uh, late in the second period of, of that second game. So trying to, uh, you know, carry a full 60-minute here at home with the way we played on the road. 
the knee guys go down 0-2, you, you referenced that, you know, it's had a similar feel to that to the beginning of the season, right? Um, when you're getting a little deja vu here, is it your response to that that next two games feel? All I can say is I know that the, the games have been extremely tough. I, you know, I think the 5-1 games weren't really 5-1 games, but um, the 2-1, 3-1, those are, are games that are extremely tight that, you know, you look at a bounce, you look at an opportunity, the, the game can go either direction. We know that uh, we're in one hell of a battle. Uh, we feel good about where we've got our game, and we just got to keep working. We know there's areas we have to be better. Uh, and we talked about, uh, you know, some of the offensive stuff we'd like to do and, and continue to try to get better as this series goes on. Is there some type of different feeling or experience when a series is tied 2-2 and you're playing that game five in terms of what to expect, just knowing that third win is so crucial? Well, you look at it, it's uh, when we're down to a best of three. So, you know, best of three, you'd like to win the first game for sure or you're in a big hole. So either way you look at it, uh, game five gave one of a mini series uh, important game for both teams. Has Akira shown you anything more than you expected in this last two games? Uh, no, no. I think we are, we're seeing what we saw when we played him for the most part. Uh, you know, and everybody says this: the playoffs are a different type of game. And the, you know, I think his game is. It looks a lot like it did when, when we put him in. You know, you thought he might be. Nervous when we first put him in. We thought, you know, the Ottawa game, we're going to put him in late. The, even the Washington game, we put him in, and uh, he, he remains calm. So it, pretty much what we, we saw is what he's giving us. Are you see, still seeing the same good habits out of Dawson? It, it, do you think he might be pressing a little bit at all? Or? Well, it, it's, it's his first go at this. It's not, it's not unlikely that a guy like him would have some struggles. Um, I, I don't think I would use the word pressing. I think that uh, there's plays that he hasn't handled really well uh, with the puck that he's been normally pretty good during the regular season. And I think sometimes that's just the moment we're in. Do you just have to let somebody play their way through it and out of it as you get deeper and deeper into the series and in the playoffs? Uh, you know, we just look at it game by game. Do you expect them to push back more after losing two? I think that, yeah, we're going to see their best game. Uh, there is no doubt that I think by far we will see their best game. Thank you, Thank you.